Welcome back. With the days heating up, many people will take to the lakes and rivers for some outdoor fun. But those annoying mosquitoes might beat you there. 13 News reporter Anna King tells us how to take precaution against them this summer. The warmer days bring the perfect temperature for staying outside and also the presence of mosquitoes. These unwanted guests love to come out on warm days and gather in wet locations where they thrive. Mosquitoes, they like dark, cool places. So your hedges and your bushes in front of your house or in your yard, those are idea conditions. Uh, even your flower pots, the, the water drip pan in the bottom of your flower pots can harbor the mosquitoes and the mosquito larvae as well. Stevens gave a few tips on how you can eliminate the presence of these tiny pests. One tip Stevens gave was to try to avoid standing water because he says that's one place mosquitoes love to gather. Try to cut any bushes in your yard between six to eight inches from the ground and allow light under darker areas like decks to reduce the mosquito count. Health officials encourage taking precaution against mosquitoes because of the diseases they may carry. We have several virus diseases that are caused by mosquitoes that are spread in West Virginia. The most common mosquito borne illness is La Crosse encephalitis. We will sometimes see West Nile encephalitis. These diseases can cause symptoms ranging from headaches to losing consciousness and sometimes seizures. Still, there are tips you can take to protect yourself while you're out this summer. The recommendation is to put your sunscreen on first and then your insect repellent. Long sleeves, long pants, long socks, those are all good. He also recommends you avoid going onto the lake when the mosquito count is at its peak during the dusk and dawn hours. In Huntington, Anna King, 13 News, working for you. As we head into the summer and more people are traveling, remember to take extra precautions and be aware of mosquito transfer diseases like yellow fever and Zika.